Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to talk about one of the uh, interesting question every fresher is asking nowadays which course should i learn to get it job in 2026 see friends the indian it market is changing very fast ai is coming companies are doing cost cutting and freshers are facing tough competition in this video i will give you exact courses that are getting the maximum job openings highest salaries and real project opportunities so before choosing the course first understand the indian it market why freshers are struggling to get place in IT industry nowadays. The companies are looking from the candidates who trained on latest IT skills, not degrees. They want people who can work from day one. They prefer candidates who know cloud, automation and AI tools. Old courses are not enough anymore. So that's why I will tell you the feature proof courses only in this video. The first one is data engineer. Data engineer is the most demand IT technology or you can say data science also. So this is one of the high demand technology now and in the future also. The companies like TCS, Infosys, Wipro, Accenture, Cognizant, okay, startups are hiring heavily. So you have to learn the skills like SQL, Python, Azure Data Factory, or AWS Glue, PySpark, Databricks, Snowflake, and BigQuery. Why this is the best for the upcoming years? You know, every business is building AI systems and AI needs data. So more data pipelines means more data engineers are required so that's why so that's why i highly recommended course is data engineer the second one is full stack web development it can be java uh, full stack or python full stack or main stack developer so this is absolutely recommended uh, technology or it course for freshers point of view because companies are expecting uh, skills from the candidates who are strong in coding or problem solving skills by using any uh, programming language and one database skills that's why I highly recommend technology Java full stack or Python full stack or man stack. But after completion of any one of this technology, don't sit ideal because uh, theoretical concepts are not enough anymore in these days. They're expecting some practical or hands on experience. That means you have to build some mini projects and you have to showcase your skill set by implementing your uh, own projects or hands on projects. Then you have to uh, put those projects in the GitHub and you have to show that github link in the linkedin or some in your resume or your profile then only it will going to work out and recruiters will notice you you are a hands-on experience professional and you are ready to work from day one so that's why i highly recommend all the guys who are taking software development course don't sit ideal after learning the course try to complete any one project why this is very important in the future also you know every company needs applications without applications no one will do any business so full stack is always evergreen guys and third one is cloud engineer or devops engineer so devops still have massive demand in the upcoming years so we have to focus on git github docker community aws or azure cloud okay and jenkins pipeline why these skills are demand you know so automation is the key point everywhere every company wants uh, automation so devops engineers save time and money for companies and next one is aa and ml engineers jobs also high demand guys most of the mnc companies even startup companies also they are showing interest to hire the uh, freshest candidate fresher graduate who already completed their training on this uh, aa and ml engineer courses so that's why i highly recommend all the candidates so from now onwards if you want uh, get it job or if you want to place in software industry as soon as possible try to complete these courses but here ml engineer means uh, as a fresher you don't need to be become expert on ml concepts you have to learn a assistant development courses of skills i have to learn to become a assistant development you know uh, you must be focused on uh, first python concept and uh, some python libraries like numpy and pandas and then learn some basic concepts of uh, ml engineers and uh, generate AI and prompt engineer so here artificial intelligence is not replacing any developers but as a developer you have to know how to use AI tools that is that is the main point guys and the next skills are even you can learn salesforce also but this skills also require some uh, coding uh, also like uh, apex or some java basic knowledge so you have to learn some salesforce developer skills like apex and lwc so this is high demand and high package you will get and 
uh, feature proof technology as well and next one is a service node developer even service node developer also is a good choice so you have to learn the basic concepts like uh, uh, service catalog and uh, ITS model and uh, workflow and flow designer and integration concept um, why it is demanding you know every enterprise uh, companies organizations are using service now nowadays and next one is RPA plus power automate even RPA developer along with power automate is a good choice if anyone uh, looking for non-coding jobs and want more job opportunities then RPA plus automated combination is high demand guys. which RPA tool is recommended you know UI path UI path and power automate you have to focus to learn these skills okay there are plenty of job opportunities are there for even for freshers also and the next one is uh, automation testing there even automation testing is also a great choice for uh, uh, fresh graduates okay so you can choose either selenium with java or selenium with python okay so you have to focus on to learn selenium web driver either java with python either java or python and also learn test and so along with that you have to learn some basic concepts of api testing as well why this is recommended you know automation testers are always demand guys in a software industry last one is cyber security basics in order to become an expert on cyber security professional so as a fresher graduates you have to know like network security or um, iam or soc security operation center so after hearing list of uh, technologies you may raise a doubt which technology suits to me see friends if you like coding you can choose data engineering full stack devops if you like uh, less coding you can choose service now salesforce and power automate so if you want a feature stability then choose data engineering cloud cyber security do you want fast placement then choose QA automation engineer okay or uh, uh, full stack engineer and salesforce also so my final advice for freshers don't learn everything pick one career path and go deep and build one strong project and one internship and learn communication and resume writing also and apply smartly on linkedin and knockery so if you follow this properly, you can easily get an IT job in the upcoming years in 2026. So that's all guys, man. Hopefully uh, this content is definitely helpful for all fresher graduates. Okay. So if you still have, if you still have any doubts on this content, then please comment in the comment section. If you want more useful content like this, then follow our Bilex YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.